Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. In the last episode we had the everlasting pill that was, it was kind of interesting actually. I quite enjoyed it. It's a pretty weird one. I think this time let's go for a mother run as Tainted Isaac. It's been a little while since we uh, played as this guy so I'm going to give it a go. Straight into the care room because why not? And that's not what I meant to take but I've taken it now. I meant to take the guppy item. Eh, <laughs> I kind of forgot about the whole switching items thing. But this actually isn't a bad item. We uh, We saw the the true prowess of this item in a recent run. Essentially, this is a pretty cool item in which we get um, the ability to have a bit of tears up and some stunning tears, but also, on top of that, essentially, when we beat the boss, we can then redo the entire floor to regain rewards. Now, that is obviously quite time consuming um, and not always gonna be something we want to do, but the option to do it if we're like missing a key or we we need a little bit more money, things like that. It's going to be good. And I believe the rooms actually drop the same rewards as well. So, for example, this room gave us a key. So if we do that room again, we should get another key. Um, and obviously on the early floors, it's going to be a bit more worthwhile while the rooms are easier. So that's probably going to be the way that we want to go forth and do this. I might take a phone call in the middle of this run at some point, just to let you know. Uh, we'll take Freezer Baby here. Um, we'll go with that so we don't need as many keys. That's kind of nice. And we'll keep on keeping on. Yeah, Freezer Baby's quite good, especially with these um, blinding, stunning tears, whatever you want to call it. I think that's a good mix of stuff. Yeah, we're going to be able to get quite a few extra keys by doing these uh, these rooms over again, which I think we will do. Freezer Baby, you are the G. Freezer Baby is love. Freezer Baby is life. Okay, can we get one of these before he jumps? No, we can't. We can get this guy, though, pretty easily. Yeah, I like the fact that it's not just the, the redoing of rooms. It's got a bit more to it than that. Right, let's do our boss. That was a really good start to the room there. Wasn't expecting to get a freezer baby hit on that guy, but very happy we did. Okay, try and get freezer baby to hit him whenever we can, because it can slow him down. And obviously, it's just more damage, too. Oh, bad hit by me there. That's fine, that's fine. We ain't gonna die. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing, I promise. I promise you all. By promise, I mean I... Eh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, we get Toy Drum here, which will probably take over Placenta. If the fire would go away at any point, that'd be nice. Yeah, let's take Toy Drum for the extra damage. And then, yeah, now we can go back and do some of these rooms. Good old heart there to heal us up. And then, if my theory is correct, we should get a penny for completing this room. But we'll see if my theory is indeed correct. You want to come over here, fella? We didn't. Okay, so maybe I was wrong then about it giving us the same thing. Either way, let's go back and do some of these rooms, because why not at this point? Like I said, on the early floors to get more stuff, it's a, it's a good idea. And we've already got healed up here. Unfortunately, it doesn't like reset the cash room or anything like that. That'd be kind of interesting if it did, but alas, we're not going to get any extra items or anything like that. That would be a bit cheeky. A, ta a touch bit cheeky. Got a chest out of this room. Oh, dude, this was... This is what I mean. Very worthwhile. Very worthwhile. We got a luck penny in this room as well. It's all good stuff, people. It's all good stuff. Like I said, I like the stunning tears as well on top of that. Oh, my God. This is golden bombs. This item. This item is amazing. <laughs> Right, we'll try and find our um, thingy room here, secret rooms. I'm not exactly sure where we're looking here, but I'll uh, throw a few bombs out in various places it could be. Okay. Not in here. Probably to the right of here would make the most sense. There you go. We get this. Ooh, this is kind of an interesting one. I think I've actually got a pretty good idea for this room, though. Um... Basically, I think I can, if I spend a bit of time, I think I can basically bomb all of these chests next to each other. It's going to take a little while, a little bit of doing, but as long as I can get them close enough to each other, then essentially, I can just hit all of them for one heart. Which, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a tedious process. But, Saves us quite a lot of HP and allows us to open up all these chests, which I think is obviously pretty good. Right. 
Probably two more bombs and we're good. Right. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Plenty of money. I like it. We've got a dice shard. This has been a fantastic floor. <laughs> fantastic floor. We've got 44, 44 whole monies. My god, we got a dice shard to work with as well here. One second. Righty here then. Let's keep her moving. Uh, crack that open. See what our shop holds for us. Spindle thingy is not great. I'll take this though. Don't know what card that is. I'll blow these up at least. Didn't at all mean to, uh, did not all mean to purchase this. So that's a little bit annoying. What does this do again? Unused turn tonight and pedestal to pick up like tainted cane. Uh, it's not terrible and it is an active that we didn't have, but not what I intended to do at all. I'll be honest. Not what I intended to do at all. <laughs> My bad. The second secret room. At least we got a lot of our money back here. Almost all of it back, in fact. Literally, yeah, we got it all back. Okay, so it wasn't even really a waste. That's fine. Okay, to the next floor. This was a very, very good floor. Uh, where are we going? We're, we're doing Mother, aren't we? Okay. Let's go this way. Save ourselves a key by doing all of this. Kind of forgot we had this trinket for a second there. And I got hit by that guy as well. Okay, lost a whole soul heart. Wait, what? Um... Okay. It was weird. <laughs> That's not how that was meant to work. Got a golden bomb, so let's uh, bomb all these and get at least one soul heart, at least one soul heart, at least... Oh, you bastard of a game. Right. Away we go. Feeling okay. With our head held medium. I'm going to have to remember I've got this, because I don't even know if I want it, to be honest. It's like, it saves us keys, but it's like, eh. It's a lot more effort to get through these rooms now. I mean, at least they're not too difficult, but still. Arcade, hello, hello. Stargazer is potentially very good for us with the amount of money we have. We'll see. Yeah. Luckily, Freezer Baby's still doing great. I think Freezer Baby's going to be a great one early game, and then we'll trade it out later on. For now, it's, it's very good. Lovely bomb there. Forgot about, I, and I'm going to forget about it every time. I forgot about it then as well. The good thing is these rooms do do actually have like room drop rewards, so you can get a little bit extra out of doing these. But they're not, they're not always going to give a reward, right? Item room. What do you hold? Monstrous lung. Monstrous lung. I do like monstrous lung. I'm going to take it. It's it's not a particularly great item. Um. But it can be really good if you get good enough fire rate. And a fire rate at the moment for it isn't isn't bad. But with a few fire rate upgrades, it can it can really shine. Pop in here. Dude, freezer baby is just going off. Freezer baby. Nose. No pain. Right. We get the point clicker thingy, which isn't actually very good for us right now because we don't tap fire. But then again, actually, I'm going to take it anyways because there's certain enemies in which it's going to be really good. And we can sort of fire then, then spam click. Like I said, it kind of depends on the enemy as well. Some enemies it's going to be useful on. And we've seen it is pretty powerful with like high damage as well, so... If we keep it later on and we have, like, we, we get rid of Monstro's Lung for whatever reason, it might end up being really good. That was a super stupid hit there. Should have just waited. Another Golden Bomb, baby. Another Golden Bomb, baby. What was a Tinted Rock that I didn't even see as well? Lovely. Spicy keys, don't need those right now. Right, make sure to bomb him when we can. Easy. Easy slaps. Cracker Jacks, um, 
I think I'll take Cracker Jacks for the HP, and I think I'll go for Angel Deal here, and I much prefer that trinket as well. Right, then we've got to go back, and remember we've got to redo some of these rooms. Good stuff. Re-get our rewards, and we've got our Golden Bombs ready. I don't know if I'm going to end up using the Shredder much, if ever, but we'll see. Where you appear in Ghosty Boy. It's kind of good for getting enemies that are a bit too far away, a bit too sort of awkward to hit as well. Like this. Like that enemy's just annoying, so we're just going to click him to death. The more damage we get, the better our clicks become. Or if an enemy's like nearly dead. If we get an enemy close. There you go, look. Right, secret room, secret room. Where art thou? Stargazer will give you will give you like one lot. It's a seven cent for the Stargazer. It's quite expensive. For an Anzus Rune? It's not that great really, is it? I'm sorry, buddy, but you're a bit too expensive for me right now. Bit too expensive. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to want one payout from this guy. One payout. There you go. And it was... It was good. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. See if remaining airborne longer. And in here we've got... Probably want to go for the HP, to be honest. It's permanent, so... I think it makes most sense. And in here, not great. Yeah. Okay, at least I got both of them blown up on one hit there. Right. Away we go. We still have this dice shard. We're still holding that for something. Um, Not really thought what yet. Excuse me, little... Ugh, little prick. Boom, boom. Okay. Cool. Keep it moving. We should be just fine here. Yeah, I have to keep checking my messages every now and again, because like I said, I'm expecting a call. The dishwashers, dishwasher, I keep saying dishwasher, the washing machine's getting repaired as well. The guy came over and we're actually going to fix it. Oh, these enemies are still broken. God damn it. Ooh, so I've got some errors here. Um, Retribution is doing some stuff. Big oof for Retribution. Good, good. We do have a good amount of bombs here. It does seem to do some auto-clicking, by the way. Like, it does seem to do some clicks on its own. Don't know if that's the case. That's just me seeing things. But it feels like it's doing some auto-clicking. Hey, we got a big bucket. Hey, a big bucket. I can't remember what you can draw. Ooh, that's fantastic. It's not actually... It didn't actually give us that much fire rate, to be honest. But it's enough to be make a difference. It certainly is. Right, yeah, I can't remember what this gives us in terms of items. Do you know what? The leech is pretty good. Heals one heart, 5% chance when... Okay, yeah, we, we, we want to just take the leech, I think. But we're full on items now, so we are, are going to have to start trading stuff out. Honestly, the leech might be one of the first things to go, but... It's fine, leech. I, I apologise. Ceiling with the stars, Baratta. Um, Baratta's pretty good, to be honest. I think Leech plus Baratta's a good combo. So I think I'm going to take Baratta over the Pointer, because the Pointer's good, but just a little hard to use. I'm going to take that. I'm sorry, Pointer. I could Dice Shard it, but like, eh, it's probably better safe for an Angel deal at this point. And what we got going on in here? Not too much. Oh wait, I can recycle the um, I can recycle the mouse pointer. The recycle is actually really good for Isaac because now we've got a bunch of items we might not want. Fire rate is good. So we'll re uh, get rid of Cracker Jacks for. Okay, I ended up getting fire rate anyway. It's not the item I meant to pick up, but then we can do that. Gives us the sun adjustment as well. Come in here, see what we got going on. Photon with 
Mmm. I've been getting Furt on a lot recently. I don't know what's best here. Probably, probably just go with Pride Pin. Um, Freezer Baby, I think it's your turn to be retired, sadly. Pride Pin, thank you. And I think I, I think I bomb this guy and Dice Shard Furt here to see what I get. Good. Good, good. Oh, I took the fucking key piece. It's okay, I'll take this anyways. Damage multiplier down, then plus damage. Let's see how good that is. It's currently quite a bit of extra damage, so I'll take that over Barata. I'm sorry, Barata. You didn't, you didn't get to do much for us, but it's fine. I will use you though while you're here. You didn't do much for me though, did you? Right. Yeah, I can't believe I took the goddamn key piece. What a, what a doofus. The whole point was to re-roll it. I just took it straight away. Oh, wait. The bucket's back? Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Also, another goddamn golden... What's going on with this game? So many golden bombs. Got a little spewer or Lauras. Ooh, Lauras water is pretty good. Don't think I'm going to take it, though. We have so many cards from this, my god. So many cards. Two of spades. That's a lot of keys, baby. I'm talking about Mountain Dew, baby. Right, let's go. Uh, we can probably turn that into stuff. I'm actually really, really happy I took the Recycler now, because I didn't think about as tainted Isaac how often we'd need to use it. Or want to use it, but it's a lot, because there's a lot. At this point, there's a lot of items we leave behind. Using this card, we're, um, using. Upon using this card, this card will become undroppable and cannot be swapped out. But while holding the card, all item rooms will be more option rooms. <sighs> gotta stick with cancer, I'm sorry. It's a good idea, but gotta stick with cancer. Cancer's just too good. Corpse flower is good. I think I'm gonna get rid of the leech for corpse flower. Ooh, Ludo would have been interesting there. Ludo would have been mighty interesting. It's a cool idea for a for a thing that, but not gonna help us right now. Yeah, Leech is good, but just not. Oh, I went through this room again. I'm stupid. Now, what what's going on? Why are these enemies infinitely spawning? What was that about? Okay, quickly go and turn my item into stuff, and then come and get our mirror room. Mama Mega Explosion. I don't know where I want to do that exactly. Go. Why not? Didn't really help us actually because I already had uh, golden bombs, but <laughs> what's done is done. Also, I'm not really sure why it said Beetlejuice either. Kind of ignored that for a hot second there, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Beetlejuice? What? I am confused by that. Excuse me, I would like my fire rate back, please. In the grand scheme of things, cancer really isn't doing that much for us, but it's just nice to have. Cool. Right, item room's not super close. Oh my god, this room, those enemies, fuck me. Very annoying.
Yeah, I'm wondering, dude, they spawned him again, dude. Look at that. Why you gotta be so broken, game? Why you gotta be so broken? God damn, that's a lot of tears. Right, got that at least. I want to see if the big pot is still there again for the third time this floor. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we got it straight away that time. Kind of an interesting money equals power versus the quarter. I mean, the quarter is definitely the better take here because we could just take it and drop it. And then mash it up into other stuff. I can't remember what boss this is, but I'm, I'm sure we'll absolutely wreck them. Yeah. Very wreckable boss. More fire rate or more damage? I'd rather have more damage. Um, but I think maybe corpse flower for damage. Corpse flower is good, but like damage is better. Also range is good. Oh, all of our rooms have reset again. I forgot about that. And we can just quickly mash that up into something else. The stars is kind of a shortcut-ish. And you both the turds, lovely. Oh wait, is the pot gonna be there again? Just bomb out of this room. It's there again. What the fuck? Four times in one floor. Beautiful. I don't know why this resets. So many items to procure. Unfortunately, both are pretty terrible. Right. Don't die in this room. That would be uber sad. These shots saved me. Right, back we go and do that again. <laughs> so much stuff, my god. Right, mirror room. Got a golden... Is that a golden acid penny? Picking up a coin has an 8% chance of spawning a pill. It's kind of an interesting idea. How much fire rate do I actually lose for that? I don't, yeah, it's good, but I just don't need pills. Okay, this is the room with a never-ending supply of these guys. Or oh, it'll just be two of them this time for some reason. Who knows why? Oh my god. This has been a long floor. This has been a long floor. So you know it's going to be a long, long time. Right, is that my sun card? That is my sun card. Good. So much stuff going on on this floor. Second secret room. That's technically pretty goddamn good. Thank you. Right, let us go down this way. Oh my god. Weird, weird, weird run. Magic mush just to just to spread a little fun. Spread a little cheer. Nah, sadly not. Wow. It's been a trial. Okay, item room first, I think. See what lovely items we don't want in here. What on earth are you, big fella? Oh, we got the firecracker flower thing. Inflicts enemies with a kaboom seed. 
um, after five seconds. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think with Monstros Lung, it could be pretty fun. Oh, what you are. Um, what, what could I swap for it, though? Maybe the tear slowing down thing that's not super useful. Do you do anything, my guy? Hmm. Maybe I wasn't supposed to bomb him. I don't know. He's interesting, but I don't know how to figure him out. It's kind of better without the Kabloom Sleeve, to be honest. Oh, uh, without the, um, sorry, the slowing down thing, whatever this is. Oh, why does it do that every time? Spirit of Revenge. Summons four to six graves around the room that spawn friendly burnies and ghosts when destroyed. Fill all pits in the room. Spirit of Revenge. Kind of a cool idea. Not bad at all. I do think that five seconds for the flowers to explode is a ridiculously long amount of time. Like, the vast majority of rooms, it's useless. It's only really good for bosses. Like, most rooms are over in less than five seconds. That's not very good in rooms. But maybe it's not meant to be, I don't know. Keeper's ball sack is... Obviously amazing. I think at this point we might get rid of um, good old Gilmore, whatever it's called. Like this. Oh, bollocks. I swapped it for Keeper Sacks. I didn't get any goddamn stats for it, you idiot. We gulped our trinket, that's nice. That hurts me. Bollocks. Right. Quickly come in here and uh, sell these things. Grind them up. Probably go with that. How many cards as well? Not a lot of money considering the amount of HP I put into that thing, is it? Not ideal. We've got so much HP about, I thought I might as well. That's a health up as well. On top of all of that. There was a lover's card somewhere as well. There was a lover's card somewhere. Okay. Back to the Void Blood Machine. Was that the Love's card? That's a World card. I'll take that for the next floor, I guess. Love's card is here. Okay, that's much better. I'll uh, I'll stick with that. Thank you. Right, I'll try and buy as much as I possibly can. Yeah, so like the fire seed thing is stuck to him. And it's. Is it gonna boom? Actually, it does good damage when it does boom. Just not amazing. Don't think we want red health right now, so I'm just gonna leave that. And then we'll go down to the next floor. We'll go straight to the shop and buy everything on sale. Just make sure we don't swap it for actual Keeper's Ball Sack, though. Okay. Keep moving along. Been a weird run. It's been a weird run, man. Got our selling thing again. Shop is all the way over there. So many pills, I'm just not interested in pills this run. Oh, I popped up underneath me, old bastard. Ow. Damage I should not be taking. Right, this is definitely magic mush potential, this. we got to try it out. The game is cruel and unusual. Yep, cruel. 
as previously stated. Cruel. What's in here then? Just a spoiler. It's been a good run. It's been it's been a weird one. Like I said, it's been really strange, but different. I always like a run that's got got a bit of uniqueness to it. Oh, it's brownie. I'll take whatever the random thing is. One point nine five. What does this do? Damage three. Fucking get get out of here, little shit. So what's our damage at now? Nine point eight eight. And then if I go and I take the old bell and I get rid of that. So we're at 11.82. With this, we're at 10.55. 10.50. Um, I think I'd rather have this for now. And then, yeah, get rid of Toy Drum. Toy Drum's good, it's just inconsistent. I'd rather have the old bell that's dam good damage. Because the thing is... Like, yes, the damage does fade away over over the course of a few, a few floors, but we can just get rid of it once the damage has faded away. Clear room. Interesting idea. Oop, I'm getting a phone call by the sounds of it. One second. Okay, we are back. We are continuing on. What were we doing again? I can't remember where we were. <laughs> okay, we're going for the boss. We're going for the boss. Sorry, I just had a, that phone call I was talking about. Oh, wait, I, I just got teleported straight into the boss. I kind of wanted to go to the shop first, but... I guess that's not in our wheelhouse right now. Should be okay, though. We can go back to it in a second. We'll just have to... I say redo a few rooms. We've not actually done those rooms yet, so we don't have to redo anything. Boom. Oh, that, that really annoys me that, that fire can hurt you. I don't know how exactly that happens. Like, how do you end up coding it to do that? <laughs> it's weird. It must be something kind of janky with the way it's, uh, where it's coded. Oh, dude. Could not get away from that shot there. It's okay, though. We've got plenty of health left. It's fine. Got to try and stay stable here. One second. Okay, I'm going to have to jump on another call in a second, so it's going to be quite a bit of pausing. I do apologize. I do apologize. Oh, herming. We're on the last few waves of this, though, and then we'll buy everything the shop has to offer. I'm hoping it's got at least two items in it so we can spend all of our money and get as much keeper ball stats as we can. Oh my god, this guy's getting some good hits on me. It's very annoying. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm getting hit so much by things I can't goddamn see. There's too many charmed things in here. Um, at this point, I will just take meat and then drop it. Because it'll heal us up a good bit. Right. Ah, turned you into turd. Right. <sighs> what a terrible shot. Annoying. Uh, technically, the whistle could be really good for us here, though. I think I might take the whistle. And then we can do that. Oh, heal spare. Okay. Um, at this point, I think we get rid of this. And then, yeah, I think I think we just sit like this. I think we just keep what we've got and we go down to the next floor. There's apparently a burn heart in here, which is actually pretty good for us because then we can uh, trade away both burn hearts to get through here. Right, cool. I think heal spares obviously very, very good for us, and I think the store whistles gonna be good for gaining more stats because you just buy items and put them straight back down again, and that's very nice for us. I am on board for that. Yeah, I mean our damage is up to like twenty-four when we're moving at full speed, so pretty good on the damage front there. Taking a good bit of damage myself here, which isn't ideal, but... Okay. Let's go, let's go. I'm really liking Pride Pin giving us some really good tier effects on occasion as well. It's always nice to see. Okay, good. We're just going to use this in regular rooms, I'm not going to mess around. Ooh, some actually good items here. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of the, the, the flower. It's good, but it's just not amazing. Oh, I don't actually have enough money yet. Um, I didn't actually realize that. Oh, bugger. So how do I do this then? Hmm, do I have to go like, sort of like this? No. Is this for impossible to like get that? I don't know if it is. Right, I'm going to leave that there for now. Aha, downgraded, bitches. 
And hope I can get enough money to uh, to buy Cricket's body there. <gasps> He's been upgraded. I really like those uh, upgrade machine things. They should be more uh, common in the uh, Ascent. Arcade. Cost us some money to get in, but should get us some money in here. You would hope. It got us our penny back that we spent to get in here. Amazing. Where art thou, pennies? There's a goddamn reroll machine in here as well. <gasps> pennies! Okay, back we go. Oh, humbling bundle, the Humbling bundle. Nah, I think I'll take with what I've got. Right, what's down here? It is a crawl space. Nice. Okay. What is on sale down here? Not much, but we did get Birthright. Adds four passive slots. Okay. We'll obviously be taking Birthright because that solves a whole host of issues for us. Right. Back we go. So now I can take Humbling Bundle. I think I take Humbling Bundle first in the off in the hope that I get a few more pennies. How did I not get hit by that fire then? I walked right into it. Don't be like this game. Give me a few more pennies. Tough love is good. Bombing him just gives me spiders. Yonk. We'll see what we get here. Okay, come on, pennies. Where art thou? I only need a few more. I took Humbling Bundle on a whim so I can get Cricket's body, but I don't know if it's going to end up working out in my favour, and I'm a bit scared about that. If I don't get the money, I'm going to be very sad. Unfortunately, we have to fight these goddamn stupid crows. Oh, we got one of these dudes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The Reviver Boys. Would you like to revive a few things for us? I think he would. They're mine now. Damn it! I'm very annoyed. Give me some fucking pennies. No! I just bought a fucking sack because I bounced off and I thought you could walk through this shithead. And there's pennies right there. I'm very upset. <laughs> I thought you could walk through that dickhead. You can't. Secret room, maybe here. Where is secret room? Please have so much money in it. Absolutely no money in it. Humbling bundle, I can't believe you failed me so hard here. I'm so upset. Thank you for reviving that tombstone for me. Right, we do have a token there. So if we can get like a nickel or something, we could make this work. There's nothing left in here, right? Ugh. This is very annoying. Alright, blow that up. Okay, we did get... Some pennies there, good. Don't pick up anything else yet. Don't pick up anything else. There's still a few rooms left to make this happen. I will be devastated. So devastated if I don't get enough money to do this. Oh, really? So many... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we, we should have enough now with the token, if we go back, I think. Oh, we fucking got these fear enemies that still fear you. Can I debug 10 these guys? Yes, I can, good, because that's really annoying. I'll sacrifice my, my good dude to get rid of those. Right, so now I take the token, gives me 15 cent, which lets me buy this. Ah, I feel at peace. <laughs> Finally. Finally, I feel at peace. Okay. Boss time. Angel Deal's already there for some weird reason. 
Good old warp zone. I really hate the teeth one. It just lags so much. You okay, buddy? Okay, he's dead. Good. Uh, we'll take the HP, thank you. And, ooh, baby. See, Genesis is a weird one, because we'll lose Birthright. I think, we're, I think we're better off just taking the mind. The body, even, the soul, even. I got there in the end. Genesis is a, is a weird one for us. Wouldn't work the way I wanted it to. Right. Down we go. Strange run here. Strange run indeed. Oh, goddamn. My, my fucking... There you go. Recording software was doing some weird stuff there. Right. Let's see if we can keep this going. But yeah. Humbling bundle I've got because I want to try and get as much money as I possibly can here. That's a luck penny over there. Hey. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> it's slightly strange to get through. Oh, and it's a bloody one of these rooms anyways. Bye. Okay. Still got very good fire rate. Just walked right into that guy. Oops. Shoppeth, can you reward me, please? I mean, Steam Sale is pretty goddamn good for us here, so let's bomb this to grab that. Head of the Keep is very good, too. Okay, some good stuff here. Right, so we go... We take... Peach Creep out of the equation, so we can grab Steam Sale. And we take... Old Bell out of the equation so we can take this. And we take... Corpse Flower out of the equation. Out of the equation, even. Not Corpse Flower, you know what I meant. So we can get Electric Dice. And now, we should be able to get a ton of money, spawn a bunch of those, and off the back of that, this should work, how I think it does. Basically, we should be able to get a ton of stats, is, is what I'm trying to say. We should be able to get a ton of stats. Humbling Bundle, plus Steam Sale, plus that, should mean that we get a lot of pennies, and then we can create a lot of those things, and it's just, it's hard to describe what I mean, but you know what I mean, right? Right. Lovely. Some extra pennies there as well. Some extra pennies there as well. We'll do that. Electric dice hasn't triggered yet, which is slightly annoying. We'll grab that. Grab that. Give ourselves um, knife piece two. If I could type, that'd be great. Yeah, so we've got the chance to get a bunch of good items, but more so is just buying stats, essentially. That's the bigger that's the bigger get here, is just buying a bunch of stats. Anyways, we go down. Because the stats aren't tied to any items, technically. It's insane how uh, how good what's it called is on this guy. Beth right. Yes, yeah, so you see, look, I'm, our money's just going up and up and up. The more charged we can get. I'm hoping electric dice will on occasion spawn quite a few, um, what they called, quite a few of the shops, but I don't know if that's how it works. But God damn the money. The money is good. Oh, you got me. Oh, no. Oh, God, some of these enemies are rough. This guy pump out a bunch of little enemies? I can't remember. Yes, he does. My bees are taking care of them, though. Yeah, electric dice just doesn't seem to work with this, sadly. Tech module? So I think I'm actually going to take tech module as an item to keep.
Yes, that's nice. I like that. Oh my god. That's a lot of money. Buy the pill just because. Yeah, that's spawning quite a bit of money. It's very hard to hit the, uh, the, the room enemy there. My goodness. So money's definitely not an issue anymore. We've got plenty of that. Now just getting charges. Like every room we're getting a penny at least. Apart from this room apparently, which we got none. Oh my god. Ah, oh, bugger. Covering the room in a bunch of fire that hurts us. Not the smartest idea. Look at that. Oh my god. Imagine if pennies could heal us. Imagine if we still had that trinket where pennies were pills. Oh my god. Pennies gave pills. would just be unlimited pills. Oh, we got cat food here. Oh ho ho. Cat food or cricket's head. I think I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Right. What we will be taking? Um, probably, honestly, probably humbling bundle at this point. Maybe maybe steam sale at this point. We're not gonna need steam sale much more because we've got so much money coming in. It allows us to get more stats pair, anyways. Yeah, so damage went up a good bit there. Boss, just good old rock gut. Ain't no thang. Little rock gut ain't no thang. One second. Right, let's carry on here. Sorry about that. I am all sorted with work now. That was a little bit of, of high stress thrown at me. Very short notice. Someone wanted to do a live stream event um, on Thursday with like basically no setup uh, <laughs> and no prior sort of prep. And I was kind of like, eh, that sounds... Sounds a little risky, and I tried to sort of be like, excuse me, that might not be the best idea considering people are breaking off for Christmas holidays around that day. And luckily they just replied back saying that makes sense, let's uh, let's push it back. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to spend the next 36 hours um, really stressing to prep an event, but luckily it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case now, so I can relax a little bit. Uh, my job can be stressful sometimes. I do like my job a lot, though. Working from home is just very, very nice. <laughs> Helicopter boys! Are you literally just picking this up for the stats and then putting it down again? What's that base damage at now? It's like 12? Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Ooh, another heart container. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'm not going to get many more soul hearts here, I wouldn't think, so it makes sense to me. Honestly, we don't really need much more money at this point, so there's not much point trying to grab it all. Some hearts there, lovely. Oh, but I managed to pick up somehow? I thought I had full red health. Oh, I've, I've filled up my trinket finally. I've filled up my trinket heart thing. This is the last floor, yes it is. Okay. Obviously, we've got some lag going on with the teeth and all that. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. How did you not die? Okay, there you go. You did good. Stats there, lovely. Ooh, hello. A battery for sale, you say. Now, this pepper could be kind of fun. Um, what, what kind of trade for the pepper? Humbling bundle at this point, maybe? A jumpy fella. Yeah, like I said, that the, the little Naga chili things won't pop off too often, but they will on occasion. Oh, the fire. Okay, so that did actually say it hit me, but I didn't actually take any damage. But that time I did. That time I certainly did, so... Oh, wait, it was filling my heart. Dude, this item. This this bloody fire bullshit. It's very annoying. What? There's just spiders lingering around. Just die. Right, let's go back and grab those hearts, because... A bit stupid. Right, buy the soul heart. 
grab this heart. Okay. <laughs> annoying. Certainly annoying. Okay. Where is our boss? Well, that kind of annihilated him there. Oh, I love the poop shot. Turning enemies into poop, no better feeling. Here's our boss, lovely. Turn this guy into poop, that's the guy we need to turn to poop. Okay. Eternal Heart gives us an extra hit, so that's not bad. And we get Doctor's Remote. Oh, we got Lodestone. Actually, Lodestone's really good. Um, anything else I want to trade? Yeah, let's tr trade the head for that. And then see what card we got here. The stars, unfortunately, not very good. Right, Lodestone was a good pickup at the end there. It basically means all our tears get sucked in towards him once it hits. And our bombs will get sucked in towards him as well. Good thing about this boss is the way that he's positioned means that the lasers hit him, like, every time. Lasers have no problem hitting him. Okay. Very quick first phase. Let's let all the bees eat him up. Okay, fire, careful. So I hit myself. Pretty unavoidable, to be honest, but he's basically dead here. There you go. That was nice and easy. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.